Riley Green, <laughs> where do I even start with this guy? Maybe put the sunscreen on in this spot. That sun's right in our face right here. You know, last year during the pandemic, obviously everything was shut down. So Riley wasn't touring and he did every single day. That man was in the woods. He was deer hunting all he could. He asked me, what hunts can we go on? What can we wind up? You know, if he, he was, he was fully committed to real tree road trips this past year. And so it was a bad year to be a deer if you were getting hunted by Riley Green. As you've seen from the last couple of years, Riley loves hunting Nebraska. I mean, the man even spent Christmas last year in Nebraska. So uh, he's almost a Nebraska native at this point, I think. You know, Riley has the reputation, you know, around road trips as being known as the trigger man. So I was very surprised that some of these deer, I mean, nice deer. I mean, I know if it, they came in front of Brian and myself, they were going to get shot. So some of these deer he's passing the first few days, little surprise he let him go. But look, nobody, if you're watching this, don't worry. Riley's got a deer. He's going to be deer hunting somewhere. So the opening weekend of Kentucky is coming up and he's got a deer that's got his name on it. All right, so we're in Kentucky. This is a buddy of mine's farm, his name's Kurt. And I've hunted here for several years. Uh, actually killed my first buck with a bow on this same farm. So this is kind of a special place to me. And, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to be able to go hunt with somebody that I've been friends with a long time. miserable sit for 10 minutes of action but and they when they came in they came in so we're gonna look at the footage and figure out what to do Everybody. I guess you'll mount it yeah, well I got news for you they ain't done the what is it oh I, I never had a name back here Somebody tell he like, he, Kurt just wants one in the woods. I got you, buddy. I gotta have a picture with you. Man, he was just he was getting out of here. So first set, no surprise here. Riley had this deer pattern for a few days, went in there when the conditions were right, had it had it timed out perfectly. So where's he heading back now? Right back to Nebraska. So we're back in Nebraska. Obviously we went down to Kentucky and got it done. Open week with a bow. Tyler's back in Georgia. He got him a good buck down there. So we've got the season kicked off good. I'm back up here, headed back over to Les's property. You know, hopefully some of these deer are a little bit more regular now that's cooled off a little bit. Let's see if we can get it done.
was skittish, man. He's a giant, too. That's a shooter. Yeah, wow, man. What an awesome game. Little character. Great brow tones. Yes, sir, boss. He's showing up. He's showing up, man. Twenty-five yards, maybe. He was on him, I knew, and I drew back. As soon as I drew back, he looked straight up at me. So you got it? Yep. He ran maybe 60 yards. Died in the road bed. Awesome. I mean, it wasn't no tracking. Did you see anything else or just this one? It's a dude. And I mean, that camera had a lot of does in there around six or something. But yeah. That's, that's not a place you're going to see a lot of deer, except during the rut. Yeah. I bet you that place would get run up and down with bucks in the rut. That's a beautiful place. Riley, during the middle part of the season, has been bouncing around between Oklahoma and Kansas. Hasn't had a lot of success, has had a couple close encounters, just hasn't worked out. Um, you know, but a place that we like to end the year on for the Realtree Road Trips gang is to go to either Texas and Louisiana down there to Honey Break. So he's heading south to go blow off some steam. It's a big team. That's it, boy. I had a shot look to you. I mean, I was on him to squeeze. Dude, what a deer, man. Oh, I love it. Here comes something big right here. You got the super guide cup. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome, man. <laughs> this boss. Oh, yeah. Well, that's cool right there. Dude, that's awesome. You the man. Appreciate you, buddy. That was fun, man. I like the 
No tracking jobs. Yeah, I don't like that to track them, man. What about it, man? Yeah, man. That's all. That was fun. Dang, that's pretty. That's where my cup is. He got long main beams on him. How about that red board? Yeah. Be in Oklahoma by tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you and Brian gonna have to. Get we we after him, man. We Our are, trip will continue. We are after him. Second afternoon. Just got in here. Already got a couple doves feeding. We got a big front moving through tonight. Uh, Riley's not hunting too far from us. Austin Riley's hunting on another ranch, right? Yeah, he's down on this over here. So we're kind of spread out tonight. We have we haven't set the same place twice. Just fun, just seeing a bunch of deer, so. I don't know about you, but I got my ears open. I'm Ready. ready. I'm waiting to hear Riley Green shoot. I just think if anybody, if I had money to put on anybody killing first, it'd be Riley. Well, he's been in the blind for 10 minutes. Anything's fair game at this Anything's point. fair game. The dude don't play, man, and I'm not even kidding. some pretty thick stuff and they bed down. Didn't know if he left or what. He comes back out with that doe and, you know, just ease back down towards us so we, we got a really close shot. But, uh, you know, we, they do some pretty strict management out here so we're sitting here trying to figure out how old this deer is and, and back and forth. And, uh, man, that's why you come to Texas right there. Well, well, well. Congrats, dude. I should, not that I'm surprised. <laughs> I wish I could have been in there when, when y'all heard the shot. Yeah, well, I, did you get it? The blind erupted in laughter. Because it was like, did you uh, did you get my text before you shot? I can't remember what it said. No, it said, I said, if you're happy, I said, do whatever you want to on the deer if you're happy with it. I don't think he read it. No, I, I mean, but with, it was that quick. It was that, because within, within said, as soon like, as I hit Sam, within maybe yeah. 15 <laughs> seconds, you just hear, I said, I was well, he, like, you, you know, yeah, see, I, he got I was it. texting you along because I was trying to get a picture of my phone with the binoculars yeah. going. And, and he, he said, uh, he said, we got a green light on that deer. And he just happened to come back out. And we really didn't have a great shot at him prior to that. He was yeah. way off. And yeah. He came out about 75 yards and we finally got on him. And it wasn't long after he got that. We got to looking at him. He's uh, he's definitely older than we thought he was. Yeah. All right, so we just got in the stand. This is a, a blind they call the Kenny Rogers stand. Uh, we got two lanes we're kind of watching right here. Uh, Drew's showed us some bucks. It, he's got pretty regular in here that are older deer shooters, so we'll uh, we'll give him a little bit, see what comes out. Feel good about it. It's cool this morning. Me and Tyler are the only two left to tag out, so let's see if we can get it done. That looks like him. 
think it is. Didn't take long. <laughs> it was probably 20 minutes after shooting light. First deer we saw was one of the target bucks we got. Uh, one thing Drew does a good job of down here, and, and this is my second time hunting honey break, is he knows these deer, he knows how old they are. And he probably upsets a lot of people by not letting them shoot them four and a half year old deer that's just an impressive deer. This is a, another example of it. I think uh, 20 minutes ago I was looking at pictures of this deer that we just shot. This one and two other shooters that were, you know, right here in this area. Pretty regular, so pretty hard, a pretty tough two days. I hunted long and didn't see a buck and then this morning we were in here for 20 minutes and one of the target bucks comes in, so we'll give him a minute and go down and see what we look like, but I felt like shot was good. Right on. <laughs> I'm just point out both sides. We were trying to wait for Drew to come look for this deer, but the blood trail was just, I could not walk in here. He's laying out here for what, 20 yards out of the road we had from where I shot him. Oh man, what a pretty deer. Pretty deer, man. Man, he was smoked, son. Oh, you him right there. Yeah. That's deadly. <laughs> there we got some long brown times. A pretty color horn, too. Man, I can't get over how ready that buck smells. Be gone, boys. Head towards the road with him. Well, to, to everybody at home, the science that I learned behind this is you shoot the deer that your God tells you to shoot, and then on the third year, you shoot whatever you want. <laughs> what did I tell you? Hey, we're working up. You? Because you sent me a picture of a deer you didn't want me to shoot today, so we're working that direction. What did I tell you? Don't pass something on the first day that you won't shoot on the last day. That's right. Hey, man, I'm coachable. He's like, you want him gone, he's gone. <laughs> I said, you want him gone, he's gone. <laughs> 